Hey everyone, what are your values? Yes, you. Don't know really? Well, your values help identify who you are. They are your inner voice. <laughs> and they will give rise to your ultimate outward expression to the world and to others. Today, we're going to look at the values of the hippie generation and how the hippie generation ultimately formed in the United States. This venture back into history totally blew my mind wide open. I had no idea that people before the 1900s in Germany called the Wanger Vogel were living similarly and had the exact same values that the hippie generation did in the 1960s. So let's dive into the history stream and trace the cultural lineage of why human consciousness in certain periods of time, in certain areas, evolved into being. <laughs> Throughout the Middle Ages and even the Renaissance, the guiding image of these cultures was that the Earth and the universe and ultimately the cosmos was a living body and humans were a part of that body. But as we drift into the Enlightenment Age and the Industrial Revolution, this idea of being one with the earth is erased and everything and all natural materials become scientific. The Enlightenment Age valued rationalism and science and viewed all organisms as clockwork that human minds could figure out, fiddle with, and ultimately know completely. As the Industrial Revolution gained strength, communities are just decimated across Europe the forests come down, rivers polluted, and the common land is turned into private property. People are forced to move into the cities, off the land, to urban squalors to make a livelihood. <laughs> so in reaction to the Industrial Revolution and the Enlightenment Age comes partly the Romantic Movement. The Romantic Movement in a sense, uh, hates the Enlightenment movement. What they had done, they think that humans should stop polluting the earth and instead respect the pure nature that was lost. They think that the past was better than the current reality or the future. And within the Romantic movement, certain cultures or groups formed. In Germany, the Lebensreform movement. Similarly, in subcultures today and the hippie generation in the 1960s, the Lebensreform movement valued natural health, whole foods, raw foods, meditation, yoga, fasting, hydrotherapy, physical fitness, homopathology, herbalism. They were against air pollution and water pollution. They were against interestingly enough, uh, smoking, coffee, alcohol, and thought that the public school system was in shambles. The Laban's reform really emphasized a connection to nature. They wanted to revitalize human connection with the earth for a better human life. The Laban's reform set up their own school system So these professors start taking their students out into the forest and countrysides. The students, the teachers, everyone loved these hikes, these adventures, and really began to make special bonds and connection with nature that some of us do not have today. These adventures turned into long periods of immersions where they camped out in nature after noons turned into weekends, weekends turned into weeks, and eventually, like many middle class teenagers today in America, or in the 1960s, these kids or these students of the Laban reform system in Berlin dropped out of school, they dropped out of their middle class lifestyle and formed their own subculture called the Von der Vogel. Yes, the Von der Vogel, meaning migrating birds or wandering spirits. These Von der Vogels, these wandering spirits, 
had a strong belief in nature and dissented urban life and rational thinking. They favored emotion over rationality. They favored sunshine and diet over taking medicine. And they taught to manifest spontaneity versus being controlled and measured like many business people today. The von der Vogel, the wandering spirits, wandered around Germany taking over abandoned buildings like castles and making forts under trees and they made collective homes inside, inside these castles and on farms and together they made cool art and made music, they made poetry, they experimented with dieting, with eating raw foods and when World War I came along, of course the von der Vogel didn't want to partake in this. They already had this withdrawal mentality, they were pacifists. They didn't want to participate in any war, are you kidding me? So they migrated from Germany and Europe and landed in the United States, specifically California, because it's warm. They give birth to another generation and then, they, then that generation gives birth to the next generation, which is the 1960s movement. And that goes right into Woodstock, right into the, the establishment of all this hippie music of the Beatles, of Jefferson Airplane, of Frank Zappa, all these people. So isn't that very interesting? <laughs> that totally blew my mind. I hope it blew yours. Stay tuned for much more fascinating stuff coming your way from Mindbenders. I hope you got your mind blown.